Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. All right, well, we're multi-point web. I, we're the a team, we're in the Magic Cup. Um, so what we're doing, we built a, a project here uh, to allow multiple mice plug into a single computer so several children can share a computer playing a single game. And what's Imagine Cup? Imagine Cup, some people uh, describe it as the, uh, the World Cup of programming. Microsoft sponsors it and it's for students. So students around the world compete uh, building multiple solutions. And most of the solutions are, this year it's focused on the Millennium Goals from the UN that put out. And we focused on primary education. Now, is there a reason that, I mean, you guys are obviously partners in this. Is there a reason you guys look alike? Well, I don't know if you guys can figure that out, but we're brothers, and we're actually from a family of 13 kids, and that actually led us into, you can imagine, 13 kids. We had to share a lot of things, so we're pretty experienced with sharing, and this was a pretty, and this has come in handy. Did you, did you really have, like, one computer between all 13? Uh, at points, we had two, but they, you still had to share. Right. Even playing uh, games, we would trade off we would play together I, I personally love multiplayer games I, I don't like single player games anymore okay so just go ahead and introduce yourself briefly and your uh, okay. responsibilities on the team all right well I'm Jimmy um, I go to Georgia State and I'm getting my master's in information systems and I'm project leader and I've been building the base to our project uh, I'm Luke Dickinson I just graduated from Tigard High School about a week ago um, my biggest benefit of the project is I did couple games and I did a lot of studies with students and, te and testing. All right. Um, I'm Mark Dickinson and I'm going to Portland Community College. Um, my responsibilities in the project is to build some of the games um, and I think that's pretty much it. So what do you guys usually fight about? I have two younger brothers so I know what we fight about but it's not anything related to computers. Much you, you get along, right? Yeah. That's the answer. Get, you you get always get along. Well. Oh, yeah. No problem. <laughs> yeah, we're, yeah. Most of the time. No, we're Eventually actually pretty we close along. as a family. It's good. Um, but we fight for talking time. We interrupt each other like crazy. But you're family, so you, yeah. you know how that goes. Yeah. Yeah. So then uh, whose idea was it? The, who catalyzed this project? Uh, Jimmy, yeah, originally the core idea um, was sparked from actually a project that Microsoft had that encouraged us to build off of. But from there, we've just been adding ideas and changing it back and forth. And that's actually why we like to have a team with brothers. Our, our ideas flow very quickly. Okay, so what is it? Give me a, an elevator pitch. Do you want to explain it, Luke? Um, it's a play multiple, multiple people playing a single game on a single computer to learn, and uh, with an ability to expand on the on the web because for it's web based, and teachers can share, make lessons, and share them with everyone else, or you can find lessons that are being shared. And so it's all controlled by multiple mice. Yeah, yeah. it's just a right. USB mice, and it's just a regular USB hub. The hardware is normal. All right, so go ahead and uh, run us through a quick demo here. And I know that there's a, a, a site that people can go to to try this themselves. Yeah, it's mymousegames.com. This is um, what we're looking at? Yeah, let me just go. This is the front of the page. A lot of it has a documentation, but let's just jump straight into the game itself. Okay. Um, and we're going to enter a classroom called Jimmy's Classroom. So this would be what a teacher would do? Yeah. This, okay. So a teacher could build their classroom. That would be the name of their classroom, put in their password. Mine didn't have a password at the moment. But um, So what comes to here is our dashboard. These are all the games that the teacher currently has. Uh, but what the power that Luke was talking about before, you can click on edit, come in here and change. These, these, these games have data that, or lesson plans. They have questions, answers. We can go ahead and change them to anything we want. You just go ahead and just type whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can also just change what activity they are. These are actually uh, quite a few activities, and these can also be extended to more activities. Okay, so go ahead and play something. All right, we're going to play a game. It's a physics-based game. We're going to play this one called uh, Colors. Uh, in this game, it's a collaborative game, and we're just trying to... All right, got to hit the multi-mouse mode. All right, up here we got a couple of questions, and the answers are, well, we have shapes for this one. Make it a little bit easier, more for a younger age. So let's, let's go like light green, and someone just needs to grab the light green. The that's a, yeah. Or light green, yeah. Yeah, and you pull the game up, and it gives you a little bit, oh, that's just dark green up there. Oops. Light green's down here. All right. So now this is a silver light yeah. conduit that's uh, allowing the, the hardware to interact. Yeah, um, well, silver light, uh, is the majority of it. We actually have a WPF-based um, plug-in that 
that communicates with the mice, it passes it over to Silverlight. Um, so then from there, Silverlight can do whatever it wants. We can create the most creative games we want from there. Okay, so right now it's currently just tied to Windows, but since Silverlight also runs on Mac OS X? Yeah, actually everything, this works on Mac, works on the Linux, anything that Silverlight works on. Um, the plugin itself is currently working on Windows, but the plugin is extremely simple in itself. All we would need is just a, a Mac expert or a Linux expert to build the plugin, and it, it, it communicates through a common socket. Okay, so you'd be looking for help potentially from the community. Correct. Um, let me show you another little game, see the potential of. And when did you start this project? Uh, we started this uh, about January. Uh, mainly it was just ideas and a little bit of research just to see if it was a possible idea. Uh, the communication between Silverlight and the mice was the hardest part. Hmm. But since January, we've been building this, and I see we're pretty close to a launch. But people could do it right now if they wanted yeah, to. Yeah, it's live on the web. It's our beta version, and we actually encourage any feedback we can get. All right, so you say you're going to step us through something else? Yeah, um, we could show you this another physics game, or oh, we definitely. can show you a rat race game. Let me show that. Um, a lot of possibilities here. Yeah. Still one. You have a Japanese one here somewhere? Change one of the Oh, yeah, I'll just change the game. We'll There's the collaborative that. process. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to... There's a Spanish game here. We're going to change it to a rat race game. A lot of people like this. I'm not sure why, but... <laughs> it, it's... We'll call it creative. Um, oh, this most games you, you go in here and you would sign who you are, such as I'm Jimmy. I'm gonna. So now my mouse is assigned to me. So when we finish this game, it's gonna tally up my points and it's, give me points back in the classroom. Then the teacher can go in there and just uh, see how well I'm doing. This is Spanish, uh, Dad. Um, and as soon as you get when you get a correct answer, your rat starts running. If you um, so the more correct answers you get, the faster you're gonna run. There is a finish line at this, so. It makes huh. it a competitive game. People get into the game, and they forget that they're learning. That that's the key of this. Yeah, what are they on, are they on rats right now? Or yeah, those are frogs. Oh, okay, the riding rats. How they how they met up? I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Who 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 likes the frogs? Because apparently the uh, uh, the mice frogs there, frog mice. Yeah, I've I've liked frogs ever since I was little. So <laughs> frogs are usually what comes up first. And your team is called Team Multipoint Web. Correct. And the website where people can try this again? It's uh, my mouse games, uh, plural games with an S, dot com. And you guys get to go to Egypt. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're going to be there uh, for over a week. We'll be there competing Fourth against July. how many countries? I think I heard some 60 or 70. About, yeah, about 60 countries. The top of each country has been competing recently. So we're going to be competing with the top of each country. And while we're representing the U.S., uh, so we'll do good. Kind of like Geek Olympics of sorts? Yeah, that, that's what I've heard before. Have you been training hard? <laughs> yeah, I've been like doing my exercises and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, no, we're excited for this. 